they just spill wreck stuff before it gets to like 2000 ish so that's that okay now let's land on new atlantis and then we'll build a ship Now, when you're building your ship, if if you get to this, if you get to a spot where you build it and it, when you land it, it sticks you in the ship because the parts are low enough to where it will kind of stick you there. Just either delete parts and or move parts up, or you can kind of work with it to make it fit better. See, like here, I put a couple of cowlings there, and so I used to have landing gear all the way up to here, but when I did that, it would make me have hell trying to get through this area to get to him. So I just put a couple of little cowlings there to fix that. Anything okay, I can so help we're gonna you go with? to him. We're gonna be on modify ships. Sure. How about it? Now, for this part, you have to start with the ship that is your home ship. Okay, so and that's because your home ship, even a uh, pilot four. You can class, you can fly C-class ships. So you want to make whatever ship you want to work with your home ship. Now, I'm gonna build this ship, but let's just play like I made it my home ship. But if you try that with M-class parts on there, this is the error that you're gonna get. So I'm gonna take the parts off this and delete it and get and build a ship with it. But make it your home ship before you go in here and add M-class parts on it, or it is not going to work. Okay. So now that we have the ship that we're going to work with, doesn't matter which one you want to work with, just select it all and delete it. Now for me, for us, what we're going to do here is I want to keep the cockpit. I'm going to keep the landing bay because I know this works. And that stupid thing about, oh, you know what I'm talking about, that stupid thing about it's a, your docker needs to be touching and blah 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 blah. All that's going to be fixed by this. Okay, then we'll put a couple of land. We'll throw those landing gears over there. On it right like that. Let's throw this other one on there like that. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to. I'm going to delete all the rest of it. We're going to start over. How we get to the M class parts, the magic. So really, the magic for this is Nova bracers. Nova bracers are what's going to get you to where you need to be. Let's go ahead and throw all the regular parts on this. So let's go with the reactor. And for this, for the M class stuff, you can use one of these, which is great. They're really, really small, really tight, really compact. I don't know how that's an M class reactor, but whatever. Or you can use these giant reactors. Okay. They're fine. They work. You can hide them if you want to, or you can make your make your ship kind of look cool with that being your your main part. These don't snap to a lot of stuff. It might snap to this reactor. Oh, there's no back point there, but we'll snap to the side. It's just it, this thing is just it, it's better off to try and use the habs to snap that too. Okay, so we got that. We got that. We got a reactor. Okay, now we need a grav drive. Let's toss a grav drive on here. I'm just going to put that one on there. That's the one I use. And then we're also going to throw our shield on here. Okay, so let's chuck our shield on here. And I use this 470M. Now this 470M will not flip, so you have to f you have to snap it on that side, but not a big deal. That's not even what we're, we're dealing with. And we need an... Okay, we'll get engines on it later. Okay, so now we're going to start adding our M-Class parts. So let's say that I want to use those same parts that I used before. So we're going to go to Habs, because those are in Habs, and they're going to be in your M-Class stuff, which is going to be at the bottom. And I'm going to use... Yeah, let's use this one. Okay, and we're just gonna throw that back there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna duplicate this four times or three times because this is the one we're gonna this is what we're gonna use for our ship. Okay, so 
so we got the top so now we're just going to make the bottom anytime you're duplicating a part well I, i'm not going to get to that part yet all right move him down now that you notice these m class parts will snap to each other be careful pay attention to where these these circle dots are the squares only matter for attaching to other m class parts the circles matter for attaching lower level parts to those parts okay so duplicate that one more time okay and then we're going to chuck that back there now this is just for just to kind of show you what we're working with all right now again for me what i did let's do this let's move this And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you like what I did with my halves. I'm going to build them back. Okay. That's good for a start. Now for me, my main ship, the one I just showed you, has one and another of these flipped on the front. I'll show you. That's this part? No. That's the one we just used. side that one okay so these are the but these are the front p front parts of that and then you can those over there. bring them up okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that all go together but we'll do that later okay so now what we're gonna have to do is we have to get this all to attach to one of these M class parts. The best way I've found to start is to get this part here and then grab you a Nova Bracer, which is in structural and it's in Nova Bracer, Nova Bracer, there it is. Okay, Nova Bracer. Alright, so we're going to snap it to that and then what we're going to do is test it. We're going to see if it's connected. It's not. So let's try a different snap point. Let's try that top one. Will it connect there? No, it's not connecting there either. Let's try the bottom one. Alright. Is it connecting? Damn it. It's not connecting. Oh, hold on. I did this earlier. where it worked in the other video okay uh, let's do this I know there's a attach point there so let's try and snap that shit snapping try something here okay let's try this other part that's really really friendly with M class pieces so go to structural 
Grab yourself one of these Dimos cap mids. And that will snap in the circle. So it'll snap right there. Now it's connected because this is connected to this and this is connected to that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is going to take this whole piece and we're going to move it over here. But since we need to flip, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take this piece, move it off. Okay, now these are all connected. Okay, so now we're going to connect this to our main body. Now that will be everything connected there. Okay. And then what you can also do is thing you're going to have to check for is if everything's above your landing gear which it's not okay now we made this one long so we're going to make it we're going to make it go to there just to exaggerate the point a little bit but I'm still going to put that there so one two three four okay so now that we've got those connected now what we're going to do is we're going to make it to where this all will jive with how high that is okay so in order to do that we're going to go back to the magic pieces which is your nova bracers okay we know we need that lower we know we need that lower that's fine yeah okay so now here what we're going to do because we have to keep the landing bay connected to the cockpit we're just going to put one by one halves there throw a couple of them in there, doesn't matter which ones you use. I like to use the um, Hope Tech. Make sure you're on halves. And then we'll go to Hope Tech one by ones. Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to drop another one there. We're going to drop another one there. We're going to drop another one there. Okay. That'll keep us, actually, if we... No, we don't need this one. Because we can drop the the land the landing bay there so let's move this landing bay over drop him down chuck him underneath it oh no we can chuck him oh we can chuck him in this side yeah let's chuck him there all right now our landing gears are all fuckered up but that's okay because all we're gonna do for that you got two choices here um, you can use Nova bracers or you can also use another one of my favorite attachment pieces which are these Dimos hull A's. Alright, so we're gonna raise that up. Drop him there. One more down. One more down. Alright, we got him there. Wait, I think we can use I think we can just put this there now. To match him up. No, he wants to be one more Chuck him right there. Alright, now we're going to take this one. We're going to put him one up right there. And then we're going to move our shield back here. Throw another one of those up there. Oh no, we don't. We don't need to even put that there. We can just put the gear underneath. Okay, put your gear there. Now, since you have that companion way there, you can just drop your docker back under there. And now our landing gear match that. Yep, both our landing gear match that. Okay. We can just put him right there like that. So we don't really even need these dimoses. Now, nah, you're probably going to need them later. <laughs> so I'd leave them right there. Okay, now does that give me access to the... Okay, what's our errors? Unattached, two engines. I need a fuel tank. Landing gear needs to be connected. This is the pain in the ass one. This one you got to get fixed. But I think that's because the cockpit's not far back enough. Let's 
it's gotta be a pain in the butt. Oh, we have to be attached in the back for that. That's what it is. I'm not. F I'm not far down enough on this stupid thing. Okay, that's what it is, and that's fine. We can live with it like that, I believe. So now we can just chuck this on there. Chuck this on there. We got a shield. What's our three ears? We need a fuel tank. We need an engine, and we have one attached. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so let's throw. Let's do this. Let me get all. Let me delete this. Ah, shit. Okay. So now what we can do is we can take. We're not going to be able to flip flap. talking about with those walls the black curtains that are in your face you're gonna have one here because this wall is gonna clip through that hatch so you're gonna have a wall there now if you try to build your stuff like this you would have a wall right in the middle of that have you don't want that so the way this is snapping and gonna surround that piece is much better the only black curtain you're making is right there okay this one, we're going to just snap him right in his spot, move him up one right there. We're going to do the flip trick, which is just Z, one, two, three, four times, then press escape. Once you do that, it releases. Now, again, I like to double check, make sure nothing's not attached, and then we can go from there. Now, now that we don't have any parts that are conflicting, we should be able to just bring this over and drop it right on. of that so we can take this part off but I think we can snap all these on there yep, that'll all snap see because there's nothing in their way these two on this side will snap too because there's nothing in their way For this part, an important thing I want to show you is if you're duplicating a part off of your ship and you're trying to put it down, okay, let's say I want to put this part down and I flip it and I want it to go right there. It's beautiful, right? But when I flip it and I press escape, it's going to disappear. The reason is you have to set it first. So copy it, bring it to a spot where it's clear, set it down and then it'll come in and snap fine okay now that it's there it's snapped it's red though we're gonna flip it four times well however many times it takes to flip it this part I know flips for it takes four flips to flip it all the way around once you got it flipped press escape it's stuck now look it's all attached okay your cockpit's not gonna have any clipping other than that wall that wall's gonna clip from your to your cockpit 
but you, you're good there. So now, we'll, what, do we, what do we need? An engine or a fuel tank? I forget a fuel tank. Yeah, fuel tank and an engine. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, this is the fun part, right? You can use your regular, what you've always used is those 900 HT tanks. Okay, you can use those. I love them. They're pretty on most of the ship builds that I do. They're they they work pretty well. Okay, you can use those. But you can also use, and these are, I don't recommend these because they are massive, but you can use these 700 tanks, okay? Now these 700 tanks only have, look at the grab jump fuel, 640 grab jump fuel, okay? They have 640 grab jump fuel. Well, this has 400. So you use two of these, and you got more grab fuel than this big giant thing makes. These are pretty cool though, so for the build, we're just gonna leave it on there. Now you wanna make sure this stupid thing doesn't go uh, below the landing gear, which is pretty easy for it to do. Let's see, that thing's stupid. All right, let's bring him up one. I think we can bring him up two and he'll fit. Okay, yeah, we'll put him there, okay? You know what? I'm not going to use these things because they're just too damn obnoxious. Okay, so what I normally like to use are these... Uh, the flat ones, these 7440s. They work really well, especially with these two halves because you can get two of them next to each other and then you can drop... You can drop... Drop two of them right underneath that one. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Let's throw. Let's get these fuel tanks up here. Snappity, snappity. Alright, snappity, snappity. We got some kind of error going on. Let's see what it says. Oh, we need more landing gear. I should have known. Okay, we have an unattached, so what's unattached? Oh, but doy, it's the fuel tank. Okay, let's see. There we go, we'll put him there. Now we got one error, which is not enough landing gear. Okay, landing gear we can deal with. Let's do, let's do it the silly way. put gear on here and then like I said a lot of times I use these Accu 11s because they just work well okay that's our, oh we still don't have enough landing gear all right let's just put some landing gear on this bad boy And this is just a proof of concept, guys. This is not supposed to be something that you're like going to follow along and build. This is just to make things easier for you. Okay, so we're at two warnings now. So... Yep, we got our little shield there not attached. Okay, all right, so that's your build. And then you can accept and blah, blah, blah. Okay, and that will give you your ship. Now, if you want to put other M-Class parts on top of this, you can, totally can. But if you want to put C-Class or AB or C-Class parts on there, a lot of times they won't stack. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is one of the coolest parts of that and big M-Class ship of mine. So let's say you wanted to put that port 4 cowling on here, right? It's one of my favorites. This one right here. 
you can stick it on an M class if it's no problem. Right. You can throw it over here, flip it over, if it's green, no problem. Now, you would think that these thrusters, where are you little chumps? Not those ones, these ones. You would think, because of the way that this is built, these things would just fit nice and pretty right in there. But these things won't snap to that for nothing. They don't care about your feelings. So what you have to do is you have to build a skeleton. And the way you build that skeleton is you build it off of your you build it off of these part, the your halves, okay? So take your Nova bracers. You're going to build them up to the sky. For me, I'll just go one, two, three. And you can select multiples by holding control and left click. And then you can do that. Move it up. Okay, right there. Let's just do another one. Exaggerate the point, and another one on top of that one. Let's do one more. Okay, so what you're doing here essentially is making the skeleton so you'll have parts for this to attach to. And now it's all connected. Okay, once you get your parts built, you can delete whatever parts you need to make, the, make it look aesthetically correct. Okay, and then now you can go back in here, do your flip trick with these parts, and it will stay attached. Okay, now these thrusters in particular can be a little bit tricky because it takes some finessing to get them to work properly. Again, if I want to flip this on the other side, when I copy it, I can't just flip it on the other side and expect it to be there because it's just going to go away. You have to put it somewhere where it's accepted first. Then run it back over and you'll get it to snap. These things are, they work great in pairs because they snap to each other very well. See, it's all connected. You'll notice though, when you start to go to the next side, the next level, they might start catching you with some problems. What I mean to that is they're gonna want they might want to snap to something different. Now you see this piece here, it won't snap anywhere in there. Okay? And this is another little trick for you. If you can't get that left side to snap, see if you can get the right side to snap. So we'll move that over and we'll turn that into a right side piece. Now the right side piece is gonna snap in there. That's too high. But that's where we want it. Okay? It's right even with that, and this piece over here on this side is going to slope downwards. So again, what we're going to do is delete, or I'm sorry, copy that piece, move it over to where you need it, and you know what I'm doing wrong? I didn't move it over here first. Move it over here first, then move it back, snap it to itself, press escape, and that's connected. Check it again, and you're good to go. Now, if you're going to do this all the way across, I would suggest building your skeleton all the way across and then build it down a little bit. Again, you can leave them up high, and now I can delete these. You can't see them anymore, but it's all connected. Okay. Last trick I think I have to show you guys is this. When you get this ship built, and it's your main ship, it's your home ship, you steal a ship, you get a ship and a quest reward, anything that changes to your home ship and leaves this ship not your home ship, you can't go back in and make it your home ship because your level won't be high enough. The way you fix that is you go to your ship, you delete all your M-class parts off, and then rebuild it with C-class parts. Save it as your home ship, go in, delete your C-class parts, and then re-put on your M-class parts. Now that sounds super tedious, right? And it very much can be, but let me show you how I do it with my ship.
I'm, I'm a cheater. This is a duped version of my ship. Okay. So this is my, this is not my home ship. Okay. But let's say I just stole a ship and this one I need to turn back into my uh, main ship. What I do is I go in. Let me modify my ship. Okay, no problem. Okay. Then I'm going to go to that one. You see, it's not my home ship, but it has these parts on it. Why won't it let me build on this thing? Anyway. Okay, let's. Uh, it's not gonna work. I need to show you this one. Okay, let me show you on my. I'll show you on my ship. Okay, so on my ship, if I need to change this ship back from an M to a C, I've got it to where I only have to remove a couple of pieces to get to all those parts. Okay, I remove this. I remove this. And then one more piece I need to remove is this. Now, I could make this to where I only have to remove one part, but I don't know why I haven't yet. Because I'm a knucklehead. Okay, so we're going to delete the shield. We're going to delete the grav drive. We got the reactor over here. We're going to delete that. And then we're going to delete the engines. Now let me show you how easy this would be if I wasn't stupid about it. Put that piece back. Put this piece back. Okay, now here I'm going to build my grav drive and my reactor. Okay, and this is where you'd want to make it your it was your M ship, now you're going to make it into your C ship. So I'll select the C parts. I'll pick me one of these grav drives, that's fine. Now I'll go in here and pick me a reactor, a C class reactor. Okay, let's just pick that one. And then I'm going to pick me an engine. Just any, any engine, doesn't matter. You're not going to fly this ship. This is just to get it back to your home ship. Slap that D230 on there. Slap your... Three, four, slap that on there, press escape, and get that out of there. And now you're good. You'll have warnings, it's probably a shield. Yeah, a shield, okay? You're gonna have your shield on there, it's gonna say mobility, but that's because you have this crappy engine on there, don't worry about it. You're gonna exit out, click save, or click accept accept it's your home ship once you once you click that home ship okay it was an M class it wouldn't let you click home ship you clicked home ship now it's your home ship once it's your home ship with those crappy C class parts in there go back into ship builder remove this one piece delete 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 Chuck your engines back here. Now this might be a problem for me because I think some of these clip. But anyway, you'll see that you'll, you'll get the point. Uh, you're gonna throw your M class engines back in there, All right? It's probably not a problem because I don't think I have enough money to get the. Yeah, these are these parts are gonna be a problem. So let's get them. And see, now that I know that, I'm just, I'm going to leave these parts off there. I don't, I don't want them on there because I want this process to be as easy as possible. Okay, so we're going to check this spot in this front body on there too. One, two, three, four, press escape. It's good to go. All right, so now we need, oh, I forgot to put all my other shit on there. Okay, so let's put engines back here so we can get them in there yet. Yep, we get one there. One there. Good to, we're good to hook now, I think. Alright, one there. And then your last one will go right there. 
that's why I like using these two, these uh, halves because they they build really nicely. Okay, so now that I have the engines, we need a grav drive. We need a reactor. Okay, so let's throw a grav drive on here, or whatever it's gonna give us. Okay, grav drive. Let's go with this. Hold on, I want M's. So make sure you click off your C's. Go to your M's, and then I want the yeah that one. Fifteen thirty. Then we're going to chuck a reactor on it. I'm not going to put that big one on there. I'm just going to put this... This one. Yeah. Okay, so now we got that. What's our... We got one unattached. And oh, it's going to exceed my credits. Okay, whatever. And then once you put that in there, you're going to uh, snap it, flip it. Press escape, you're good to go. Now it's only exceeding my credits. So anyway, you can you you can see that the ship is built now. So it will change your uh, it'll change it to nominal, and you'll be able to exit out and save. I'm gonna just do that just to do it. Once you have it, it's nominal or one warning or whatever. Just click accept. I think that's because we didn't put a shield in it. Is that right? Yeah, just make sure you put your shield back in there. It's no big deal. You can snap that little shield to anything. You can snap it to some front parts if you have any space. Okay. Just click Escape. And accept your modification. And there you go. Now you'll have your ship back. You might be talking to the guy that's all, you know, jittery and stuff, but no big deal. And there you have it. So that's how you would make... that's hopefully some helpful tips and tricks for making your M class ship. So you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.